so important was first, it marked the only time that a sitting U.S. president has come to San Diego State. Secondly, the world was on the brink of nuclear war when he came. The Cuban Missile Crisis was only a few months re removed, and he came to here to talk to the graduating class about the future. Third, perhaps most phenomenally, less than a week after JFK spoke at San Diego State, he introduced landmark civil rights legislation. And a week after he spoke at San Diego State, he desegregated the University of Alabama. The world changed at that very moment. Fourth, Kennedy would be assassinated less than six months after speaking at San Diego State. It not only impacted the world, but it also changed this university because the honorary doctorate that John F. Kennedy received from San Diego State, it allowed us to give real doctorates. Every time you see a banner out there about our research legacy, every time you look at this faculty and realize they're studying research contributions as well as teaching achievements, you'll know that it tied back to that JFK moment. Because when we were allowed to give this honorary degree, it allowed us to give real doctoral degrees. It was a fast one. We snuck it in. The governor didn't realize the power he was giving us. Boy, did we run with it. And then the final reason that that is so important was the speech itself. What's interesting is that JFK was moving across the country giving speeches during this time. It was 63, but they were preparing for the election in 64. But even though this was an election-type speech, he gave different speeches at each of the different places. When he spoke at American University on the East Coast, he talked about world peace. When he spoke at Vanderbilt University in Tennessee, he talked about the Tennessee Valley Authority and the New Deal, the legacy of that anniversary. But when he came to California, you know what he spoke about? Education. He started by saying that, that was the most important thing that this golden state had accomplished. That's why we were the golden state. In 1963, California was quite simply the educational ideal, not only of the nation, but the world. And that's where it comes back to all of us in this room, graduates and supporters of graduates. It is our duty to return San Diego State, to return California to that golden status in terms of placing that priority on education. It was here that JFK said one of the most famous lines ever spoken in Southern California history. He said, no country can possibly move ahead, no free society can possibly be sustained unless it has an educated citizenry. Now to take us to the present, or the near present. Five years ago, we started a wonderful new tradition of having an alumni speaker at our graduation ceremony. What's neat this year is this year's speaker is both a graduate of our program and has been one of our professors as well, Dr. Dominique Rosolo. Now, Dr. Rosolo graduated with his BA in anthropology in 1994. Back then, we had the archaeology option, and he also minored in geological studies. He went on to get master's and doctoral degrees at UC Riverside in 1998 and 2001, respectively. Today, Dr. Rosolo.